Every transfer has to solve a problem. When you conduct a transfer for commercial or aesthetic reasons, usually there is a recipe for disaster. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how Manchester United can solve four on-pitch issues using the transfer market this summer. Now, this prediction is a collection of educated guesses based on three factors. The first one is, of course, the financial reality that Manchester United is operating in. Uh, only three clubs have ever spent 200 million pounds in a transfer window, and those are Real Madrid, Manchester City, and Paris Saint-Germain. So I expect Manchester United to spend around 150 million. Probably we could stretch it depending on who we are able to sell with Henderson, Bailly, uh, Telles, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, and Martial being candidates uh, to be sold. Uh, um, the other principle is, of course, the fact that Eric Ten Hag and Ralf Ragnick are naturally going to uh, try to get players that they are familiar with from leagues that they are familiar with. So I expect our transfer window to be Eredivisie and Bundesliga heavy. Uh, the third one is, of course, the Pareto principle. You know, the 20% of effort that gives you 80% of reward. Of course, we can talk about strengthening in uh, the right wing position or in the left back position. But I still believe that strengthening across or along the spine is much more rewarding for us in the short and in the long term than focusing on getting a right back, for example, or getting a left-sided, uh, a left-footed right midfielder. So, what are the four issues that Manchester United need to fix on the pitch? The first one is team cohesion and professionalism. The second one is intensity and physicality. The third one is press resistance. And the fourth one is more firepower. So, who are the four players that I think Manchester United should sign and will sign this summer? The first player on the list, of course, is Ajax centre-back Jurian Timber, the 20-year-old, is an amazing player who's going to revolutionize the way we play because he is press resistant because of his ability to dribble through the middle. His pace will allow us to play high defensive line. And of course, because of his relationship with Eric Ten Hag and the trust there is between them, I think that he's going to help improve team cohesion and professionalism in the first team. So yeah, a no-brainer at 30 million pounds, definitely a bargain. And he is my first choice at centre-back. The second player on the list is RB Leipzig midfielder Conrad Leimer. This guy is like prime N'Golo Conte on steroids. An amazing pressing midfielder. This guy has the best pressing numbers and the best defensive numbers in the top five leagues. Incredible. And he will fit in right into our starting lineup and just add qualities that we do not have. I mean, as hard as Scott McTominay and Fred are trying uh, in being pressing midfielders, there are no Conrad Limer. And uh, unlike what many people believe, he can actually provide way more qualities than just that. His passing ability, his dribbling and ball carrying ability is also very good, and he only costs around 20 million pounds. The likelihood of a transfer also is extremely high because he pretty much owes his career to Raf Ragnick. One phone call away. Manchester United, get this one through the door. The third player on the list is, of course, Dutch midfielder Frankie de Jong. What an amazing orchestrator from deep. The guy dribbles like a winger while playing as a central midfielder. He will make us press resistant. Him and Leimer in that central midfield uh, position for Manchester United would be an amazing, amazing combination. Uh, now, the only problem that I have with Frankie de Jong is, of course, whether he actually wants to come to Manchester United, though I trust Eric Ten Hag, John Murthor, and Ralf Ragnick's judgment on this. If they feel that this is going to be uh, an Angel Di Maria or Paul Pogba type of situation, then I believe that they should pull the plug and find an alternative. But if he is keen, if he is on and he wants to come to Manchester United, then by all means, this is going to be an amazing, amazing transfer. Another player who is just going to elevate the level at Manchester United. Now, the fourth and last player on the list is, of course, a striker, and it's French striker Christopher Nkunku. Now, I know what you're going to say. Darwin Nunez. I love Darwin Nunez myself. However, Cristiano Ronaldo staying has just changed my opinion on the necessity of having Darwin Nunez. And has made me favor a transfer for Christopher Nkunku a little more, mainly because uh, Cristiano Ronaldo already plays that fox-in-a-box kind of center-forward role. Plus, his form in the past few games has been amazing, and I expect him to just hit the ground running comes August. That guy is going nowhere, okay? So I think that having Darwin Nunez as well would be kind of redundant, but having Christopher Nkunku just provides so many more options, so much versatility that the team can use, especially in a period of transition. Uh, for Eric Ten Hag, who is a tactician, 
who is a master of tactics, uh, having someone like Christopher Nkunku could be a little more interesting in that he can fill different roles, playing on the right, on the left, behind the striker, even as a midfielder if needed. Um, so I believe that he is much more valuable. You get much more punch for your buck uh, by getting Christopher Nkunku for 60 million, which is around the same price you're going to have to pay for Darwin Nunes than if you went for the Uruguay striker. Now, beside centre-back, central midfield and the center forward position there are still positions that need strengthening for example the right winger position the right back and the left back position but what i'm gonna say about this is that um we can still get targets in those positions depending on who the club can sell i'm looking especially at dean henderson who is probably surplus to requirement but who could still fetch 30 to 35 million pounds that's how much everton and uh, arsenal have paid for jordan pickford and uh, aaron ramsdale so that could be an option. Anthony Martial could fetch around 25 million. Crystal Palace are interested in Aaron Juan Bissaka. That's another 30 million um, that, that we could get. Um, Alex Telles and Eric Bailly could also be leaving. And so if that's the case, then Manchester United could have probably an extra 50 or 60 million pounds that they could spend either on Anthony and then have a proper right winger with the left foot or spend it on a left back. For example, Borna Sosa from uh, Stuttgart or um, David Raum from Hoffenheim, two amazing, amazing left backs who could replace Alex Telles and challenge um, Luke Shaw for uh, that left back position. There is also the possibility of solving the Anthony question without going into the transfer market. If you have Christopher Nkunku, you could play him off the left and play Sancho on the right. Uh, Alejandro Garnacho really enjoys playing on the left as well, as he's shown again against Nottingham Forest in the FA Youth Cup final with that second goal that he scored. What a beautiful goal. Um, so if you play Sancho on the right with Elanga as cover uh, and then Cristiano Ronaldo through the middle with uh, Christopher Nkunku, Rashford and Garnacho all options on the left as well as through the middle, I think that's enough options for the, the upcoming season, for knowing full well that players like Bruno Fernandes and Van de Beek are also goal threats, I think that's enough firepower for this season. That's enough to get top four. That's enough to play beautiful football. That's enough to look like a solid team that means business. And then next summer, then we can move in uh, and, uh, and try to bring in other targets like, for example, Anthony or another left back or another right back. Not every problem has to be solved through the transfer market. But I still believe that those four players, Timber at center back, Limer and De Jong in central midfield and Christopher Nkunku in the forward position are must sign players for Manchester United because they will strengthen our spine and they will just elevate the level of our team to a whole other level okay so do you agree or disagree with me please make sure to share your thoughts in the comment section by leaving a comment down below and cheers